Let's take a quick look at some other examples of programs which perform calculations. This one calculates the area of a triangle. Now you might remember from your maths lessons that the area of a triangle is given by half the base times the height. So here are my variables. I've assigned a value of 15 to the base and the value of 19 to the height. So to calculate the area, I'm taking the base and dividing by 2. There's the division symbol this time. And then I'm multiplying that by the height. Half the base times the height. So a triangle with a base of 15 and a height of 19 has an area of 142.5. I haven't used any brackets here because it doesn't actually matter in which order I do the division and the multiplication. I could have just as easily said height multiplied by base over 2. And I would have got the same result because division and multiplication are said to be commutative. Here's another example which calculates the area of a circle for a given radius. And again, you might remember that the area of a circle is given by pi times the radius squared. So here's my calculation. Pi, I believe, is 22 over 7, approximately. So 22 divided by 7 multiplied by the radius multiplied by the radius. That's the radius squared. A circle with a radius of 15, therefore, has an area of 707.14 something. I could have squared the radius in a different way. For example, I could have used this operator, the little carré symbol there, to raise the radius to the power of 2. One final operator that you might find useful is the mod operator. Now I've been a bit lazy with my variable names here, but you can see I've got x equals 7, y equals 3, and then z equals x mod y. Let's see what we get from this program. 1. 7 divided by 3 is 2 with a remainder of 1. So what the mod operator is telling me is the remainder after division. So we've seen a few things here just to summarize. We use the slash symbol for division. We can use the carré symbol to raise a value to the power of something else. In this case, to raise this to the power of 2. And finally, the mod operator will give us the remainder after division.